Let's start with the BSF rearing unit, the heart of the facility. This is where we produce millions of small larvae every day. Life usually starts with sex. In our case, mating takes place in a so-called love cage. We provide the flies with a water source for drinking, space for mating, and a place where the females lay their eggs, the so-called eggies. After a week of hard reproduction work, most of the flies have died and we remove the love cage. We bring the harvested eggies to the nursery where they are placed over a tray with feed. When the young larvae hatch, they fall into the feed where they immediately start to eat. Due to the constant rain of hatchlings, we call this the hatchling shower. After five days of feeding, the young larvae, the so-called limadol, are ready for the waste treatment. We need about 600 to 800,000 larvae for one ton of waste. We thus have to separate the larvae from the feed and count them. Of course, we only count a few grams and extrapolate the total number. The portioned young larvae are then ready to be used in the waste treatment units. A small fraction, let's say about 1% of our young larvae will be needed to keep the colony running. They are fed a mixture of chicken feed and water for about two and a half weeks until they transform into pre-pupae and are ready to pupate. They do this in boxes with a moist pupation material where they will bury themselves and go through metamorphosis. The time it takes from pupa to adult varies from 10 to 20 days. We place the pupation boxes in so-called dark cages. Now whenever a fly emerges, it will remain calm and wait. Because activity in general and mating of the black soldier fly in particular is stimulated by light. When we want to set up a new love cage, we connect the two cages and lure the flies into the love cage with a lamp. The cycle is completed and the whole game may begin again. Now that we have seen how to produce young larvae in great and defined numbers, we move on to the actual bio-waste treatment unit. In the case of our facility in Indonesia, we receive waste from a fruit and vegetable market. To make the waste easily accessible for the BSF larvae, we shred it with a hammer mill, but any kind of shredder can do that. Our fruit and vegetable waste mixture is very wet. We therefore let it drain for a day or two to reduce the water content. Here you can see the treatment set up. We work in crates because one person can handle them and we can stack them onto a pallet. Between every layer of trays there is a metal frame which allows air circulation. The larvae stay in the trays for two weeks. During this period they are fed three times. That means that every pallet treats about 500 kg of waste. Once the larvae have reached a good size, the whole pallet can be harvested. Because we have very wet substrate, we put the residue and the larvae on a screen where the liquid flows and the larvae crawl through. The larvae can then be strained from the liquid. The larvae are rinsed with water before being further processed. But what to do with the larvae now? This really depends on the local situation. If your customer is nearby, you might be able to directly feed the larvae to fish or chicken. If you want a product that is easier to store and transport, you have to think of methods to kill and dry the larvae. We are currently testing a pelletizing machine to produce easily marketable fish or chicken feed.